Happy birthday to you. Bella, say hi. Say good morning. You're not used to being on camera that much, huh? Say hi. Say it's my birthday. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Good morning, everyone. It is Bella's third birthday, and I thought I would document it. My camera is gonna die. It's been a while since I've vlogged, I feel like. I'm not used to being on top of things anymore. We're gonna document this special day, okay? You eat your chicken. She's so cute. I'm gonna give Bella a few of these treats. She loves these, she's absolutely obsessed with them. I think my mom gets them at Tractor Supply, I believe. Yeah, you want some? Sit. Good girl. And this with one hand. Nope, that's not gonna happen, especially because I injured myself. I injured my right hand weeks ago, so I'm still trying to be careful. It is getting a lot better though. Just be on the lookout, there might be a video on it. Still deciding if I want to post it. On one hand, it seems kind of silly. On the other hand, I just wanted to document it because it was something I was going through, so. Alright, I'm gonna show you catch. By the way, she drools like crazy. This is just the breed. We pick it up after her, but if that grosses you out, I'm so sorry. Catch. See? <laughs> okay, catch. Good. Number two. Catch. Good girl. <laughs> Last one. Catch. Good. Those yummy? Yeah, you love those treats. She's barking, so you're gonna hear that in the background. Since I had injured myself, I've been drinking water out of a mug. I mean, I can drink it out of like a regular glass cup, but I've been drinking out of mugs for whatever reason because I cannot open my water bottle. If you guys know my big 64 ounce water bottle, I can never open that. I think she's barking at construction. Oh, no, the neighbors. She still barks at the neighbors constantly. Obviously, I want her to bark when she sees someone or whatever, but it's the neighbors who she has seen every day for how many years now? Like, three years. <laughs> so, I don't get why she still is barking at them. They live there. Someone will pull in their driveway. This is Tilton. And she'll flip out. And we started training with her at the very beginning of this year. If you remember, I filmed a couple videos about it. And one thing I asked them about was the barking. Again, I know dogs are gonna bark and it's not to tell her not to bark. Again, if someone's in our driveway, if someone barks, like let us know. But the whole neighbor situation, it just seemed way too excessive. Like she still barks at them every day, they're there every day. They don't do anything. Like she should know by now that she doesn't need to bark at them, but she still does. And when I asked them, they basically just said like not to tell her no when it comes to barking because she might get it confused to not bark at all and we don't want that. Yeah, so unfortunately it's just kind of something that yeah, I just kind of let her do now even though it's a little frustrating because her barking like scares me. When I when I hear her barking like she barked at him like, oh, it's probably the neighbors. Anyways, back to the mug situation. I, I've i been using our new, because my parents just had an engagement party a few weeks ago, and so people got them gifts and stuff. And one thing, they got like a whole bunch of like new dish sets, so they got these new white mugs. Yeah, the lighting is really bright, but sometimes I feel like it ends up too dark, so I never can figure it out. But they got these new mugs, so when I injured my hand, and again, I couldn't open my water bottle. I didn't want to rely on my parents to open it every day. So I just started drinking out of these mugs because they were new. Today, I'll use the Bella, the Bella King Corso one. A house is not a home without a King Corso. I got this for Christmas, this last Christmas. Okay, she's still barking, so I'm probably just gonna montage this. But I did find out that she's not barking at the neighbor. She's barking at construction, which is understandable. The construction is right near the neighbor's house, and they're probably gonna be there for a while. So if you hear her barking, that's why. Construction. I'm sorry for assuming you were barking at the neighbors. She was looking at the neighbor's house, I just assumed. Construction. 
Okay, but quick before I montage, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. I'm making scrambled eggs for Bella. And then I'll make a little burrito for myself, but make the scram scrambled eggs for Bella. Three eggs for her third birthday. And then I'll throw in some of this Mexican four cheese in there. And that's it. I've done this before for her so she knows but the eggs are still very hot so I'm just waiting for them to cool down. I know. You're waiting so patiently. You're good girl. Guys, you want to know a fun fact? Oh, you know how they say in dog years if you times their age by seven, that's like really how old they are? Three times seven is 21. And I turn 21 in a couple weeks, less than a couple weeks. So we're going to be the same age, which is crazy. <laughs> it's also crazy because my birthday is on October 3rd and she's turning three. So not only do we have like the 21 thing in common, but the three. It's really cool. My brain just does things like that with numbers. Don't ask. All right, they're all cooled down. You ready? Let's go eat them. Good girl. I got bluey on for Bella. <laughs> well, I made a breakfast burrito. I've actually never made a breakfast burrito. Actually, I think I have, but it was a long time ago. And I made it a little bit differently this time. And then of course some extra bacon. Basically in the burrito, I put the eggs, of course, the cheese, ham, onion, bacon, and then salt and pepper. But it's been a while since I've made this. So I'm going to try it on camera. I probably didn't roll it up the best way. But. All right, you ready? There's always a loud truck. Also, I think the wrap, I mean, it's a decent size, but we have smaller wraps and I feel like I should use a smaller one. It's like more flat than it is like round. So it might take a second to get to the egg. So we'll see. Hmm? No. Wow. That is good. It's like a basic thing people probably make every day. I'm really bad. Where's her remote? I'm gonna turn the volume down. I'm really bad about making myself breakfast. I'll just eat a granola bar, call it a day. So whenever I make myself breakfast, I am just like, wow, I did that. I don't really cook that often. I'm more of a baker type person. That is really good, you guys. I've already tried the bacon, but it's cold now. Oh crap, I gotta cook them together, whoops. I'll get Bella one. I'm gonna get grease on my camera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was supposed to say sit, she's already sitting. Okay. Good girl. She's gonna be getting all the treats today, so I am trying to watch like how much of stuff I'm giving her because she's gonna be eating a lot. Treats just make dogs happy, you know? So I'm gonna make her cake, I'm gonna make that after I eat. Gosh, it's still really hard to like use both hands for things because of my injury. If your dog's birthday is today as well, happy birthday to your dog. If it's not your dog's birthday and you have a dog, let me know when your dog's birthday is. Comment down below. I'm really good at remembering birthdays. So if I remember your username, like your channel name or whatever, I might just remember. If you don't have a dog, you have a cat, just when is your pet slash pet's birthday? Just let me know, I'm curious. Belle's like, hurry up and eat, because um, I want some of that. <laughs> 
So this is the cake I'm going to make for Bella. It's obviously not going to look like that. I'm going to try to put it in her bone pan. It's not a pan, but it's a like mold that I used the past couple years. It just came with mix, so I didn't use like an actual recipe I found online last year. So I don't really know if I'm going to be able to use that mold because the recipe may be more cake than there is the mold. I'm not sure. I'm going to try though because this recipe it has me putting it in like circular pans and stuff. So I'm going to see. I I'm going to try it out, but I will leave this linked below in case case you guys want to make this cake for your dog too. So what we're looking like, here's the mold. I know that time lapse is really fast. I thought it was going to take me longer to do this. And I obviously can't do the topping, like the icing it not icing i don't know just the topping until the cake is done cooling so that'll be later but that's all that was that was super quick and easy so i'm gonna pour this into here and start baking i don't think i have to spray the mold if i was using a pan i'm pretty sure i'd have to spray it, it seems like very thick of a what do you call it make, make sure i was gonna say dough it's not cookies still getting adjusted to using my injured hand it's a lot better the fact that i'm even doing this right now that's progress because i couldn't really be yeah, it still hurts a little bit. I'm not saying much about it because I made a video. <laughs> Do you hear my voice? Video of like going to urgent care and everything the day after it happened. So stay tuned on the diagnosis. And I'm just gonna have to watch the baking time because it's probably gonna bake differently in here than it would in a pan. But there's just peanut butter, pure pumpkin, applesauce, one egg, flour, baking soda, or something else. Like oh, vegetable oil. And then the topping is Greek yogurt mixed with peanut butter. I believe that's it. This isn't even fully to the top, but that's okay. Yeah, just Greek yogurt and peanut butter. Yeah, that's all there. That's alright though, it's not fully. It, well, no, because it's gonna rise, so never mind. We're good. This is probably perfect. If you're wondering where I got this mold, it's on Amazon, but it comes with a mix for you to make along with it. And that's what we did the past two years. But I believe I already told you that last year, she didn't love it as much as she did the first year. So that's why I'm making a new recipe this year, but just using the mold. I preheated my oven to 350 already. Just gonna put it in here. Just like that. And let it bake. 20 minutes later. A few moments later. I would maybe just pick that cake right up off there. Oh, well, I can't. What did I do? Oh. Oh, get another one? What's that one, Bella? You got it. Get it open. Oh, that's so cute. Open it, babe. Bella, what's that? 
What's in there? What's in there? She's wondering what you got. I know. <gasps> oh, oh, okay. Here. She found it. She likes it. Andy's Dandies. A small biscuit on a big mission maple pumpkin. Ooh, get the pumpkin stuff, folks. Where's your other present? <gasps> What's that? Open What's it. in there? What's in there? <laughs> you know there's a toy in there. Oh, you can't open it walking around. <laughs> you gotta get your toy out. Oh, oh no. <laughs> You're almost there. Keep moving along. We're so close. She's got it. You got it? Get it, though. Get it. No, not the paper. Get it. You almost got it. Get your present. She's like, where's everything else? Go get it. Go get the toy. Get it. Get it. You're so close. Yeah. Go get the ball. Okay. Oh. You want to play? <laughs> Bella. Get your ball. Oh, you got new toys. Oh, want me to help you open one? Probably not. Then she opens the back from the bottom. You want. Treats just make dogs happy, you know? Where's your ball? <laughs> you want your ball? Hi guys, my camera's upstairs so I'm on my phone, but just cuddling with Bella now. I've been brushing her with the brush, giving her like a little massage, relaxing while we watch football, watching the Bills game against the Jaguars, but we're winning. My stepdad's a Bills fan, so that's good. Also, I wanted to tell you guys about the hoodie that you've seen me wear today in this vlog. It says Faith Center Co. on it, and then if you are a Big Brother fan, you might know that the host, Julie Chen Moonves, she's involved in this company called Faith Center Co. And she ran a giveaway. So she posted an Instagram reel about a month ago saying that she was giving away a free hoodie. And spoiler alert, <laughs> I won. I'm so excited and so grateful that I did win. It also came with some other goodies. I can put the picture on the screen here. I was not expecting the other stuff. It, there was a bag, a keychain, I think a, it's a sticker, I believe, then a cute little note. But the only thing I was expecting was the hoodie. So thank you, and they're not watching this, maybe, who knows, but it'd be crazy if Julie wrote the note. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, because when they announced that I won, or well, I was DM'd that I won, they told me I won actually when Julie had COVID. So if you watch my brother, you know that there was the episode that she didn't host, and it was like that time that they told me I won, so I doubt she was working with the company right and I, I also i don't know i don't know how much she's involved with it i just know that she is but right now she's doing more big brother so anyways i just thought i'd share that with you because maybe you know maybe you don't know it's so comfy i want to get some more stuff from them it, like their material is really good okay the day is almost over i'm just posting the video i made bella has an instagram so i just collaborated except so cute. Posted it Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, all the platforms. Did you have a good day today? All the treats and toys. We slept in today. Going to bed early tonight. Early for me. Normally I'd be going to bed at like 6 in the morning. But I know she doesn't like it. So for her birthday, I got upstairs early. 
because she doesn't like when I stay downstairs for too long. Oh, I'm sorry, that too bright. I was just showing you. I'm sorry, that definitely was close to your face. I'm being quiet because my parents are sleeping, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up. This is not Have it close so you can hear me, but I'm like too close. There's our camera. <laughs> it's just right there. Is there anything else you'd like to say? I gave her a nice little massage and this brush in her. She loved it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Say bye.